Hi, hello. Uh, just so <clears throat> make a quick video explaining how to to do CW uh, using Pluto as the R or or it works for Lime as well. Basically, um, <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna use these three uh, softwares. Uh, obviously, SDR console, um, a VAC uh, virtual audio cable software, and FL. DG. Um, so the SDR console, um, most of you know, that's one of the softwares that works very well with the Pluto SDR to transmit and receive. Um, the virtual audio cable, this is the official uh, virtual audio cable software. There are others, but I, I like it very much. Um, the license is very cheap and, uh, and uh, it works perfectly. Uh, FLDG I use to generate uh, the CW tones. Uh, maybe there are other uh, softwares around, better and, and, and more simple to use. But actually, uh, that was the first that uh, came to my mind, and I, I just downloaded it. It's a freeware. Um, so first of all, you 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 need to to be um, familiar with the virtual audio cable. <clears throat> so uh, here I have three. Uh, virtual audio cables. I have cable one, two, and three. Um, basically, uh, it's it's very easy to configure uh, the software. There's no no issue. The, all the all the settings here that came with the software uh, I keep as a standard. I didn't I didn't change it. <coughs> so, but basically, I have I have three cables here. Uh, one cable one, two, and three. Okay. So let's just start the the SDR console. I, I have several um, profiles in my SDR console because I have other receivers as well. So uh, the main one is where the the Pluto is. Okay, <clears throat> uh, here in the SDR console, you can you can set uh, uh, some audio profiles. Uh, that uh, you may use. So I'm going to start uh, the Pluto and I'm going to show you. Right now I'm set, I'm set to, the, to do SSB. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sync with the upper beacon here. Okay, so I'm, I'm set to do SSB. So I'm going <coughs> to, you see here, uh, microphone uh, Logitech uh, wireless uh, headset, which is the microphone that I'm currently using. Let me decrease the audio here. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm set for the SSB. So hello. Oh, hello. One, two. One, two. Test. Papa Yankee 2 Radio Papa November. Yankee Papa Yankee 2 Romeo November. Papa November. Papa one, two. Romeo test. November. One, two. Test. Okay. So I'm, I'm with the <coughs> SSB. What I did, I just create another uh, profile uh, here that I use for for digital modes, and uh, within this profile, you you turn off all the the processor and all the the equalization, uh, the audio equalization is all everything is off, <coughs> as you can see here. Um, uh, so the transmission equalizer is off. Everything is off. It's not enabled. Okay. So this this type of uh, this type of uh, settings is is uh, uh, suggested uh, when you do uh, digital modes. Uh, not only for for the CW that I'm going to demonstrate, but to do other digital modes like FT4, FT8, or KG, SSTV. Um, so it, it will not generate uh, uh, a dirty signal. So just keep uh, the equalization off and the processor off. Uh, you, you may activate the Vox. <coughs> and um, the audio input, as you can see here, is no longer my microphone. But I put LAN 2, okay, which, is, which comes from the virtual audio cable. So I'm going to move to the CW uh, segment and then I'm going to start uh, FLDG.
and then I'm going to show you. Uh, it's a very simple program, also, though not big deal. <coughs> yeah. It it has a lot of settings, uh, but actually I I, I didn't explore uh, too much on that. I mean, first of all, the frequency it will not uh, reach up to 2.4 gigahertz. So this is uh, when if you want to set this to make a, a log for you and. Uh, uh, things like that you can set all these things but I didn't I I, I, I just downloaded it and uh, I move it here the operation mode I, I, I just choose CW okay uh, the, the only important configuration that you're gonna have here is the sound card so as you can see my playback device uh, from this program is set to line 2, which is the input for SDR console, okay? Um, the capture uh, is setting for line 1, but actually uh, I, I do understand CW and I, I use my ears. I, I don't need to use the computer to decode CW for me, but in case you are willing to, to use uh, the, this program to decode the CW for you, you may you may set uh, like uh, line one and put the uh, uh, you know the output from SDR console to line one as well. So you're gonna you're gonna decode all the CW here on this yellow screen, but that's not the case. Okay, I'm I'm just using this program to transmit CW, not to to receive. But there is an option. If you wanted to decode CW, you can do that as, as well. Okay. So um, um, you just hit save here, close, um, whatever. Um, okay. Uh, the other important set settings is the speed, CW speed, which you, you set here. Okay. So I'm going to leave it at like uh, 20 ppm or 20 wpm words per minute. <coughs> And um, I already made some um, um, memories here, like, uh, you know, this one, I just memorized a, a CQ. Uh, this one, I think I put some, oh, I put a QRZ. And, and, and uh, this one, I think I did nothing, no, yeah. I just memorized it as a CQ on, on this here and this, but uh, you can memorize uh, all these uh, uh, these keys here. You you can memorize uh, what do you want, like name, uh, QTH, locator, etc. But uh, actually, I did. I just memorized the CQ. So going back to the SDR console, I'm gonna call a CQ, but not uh, not using the memory. Just here, you control the uh, transmission and reception. Uh, actually, this is on reception mode now, so I can I can do like that. CQ, CQ, CQ. Uh, Yank to radio November. Uh, Yank to radio. Right, so um, and I can just press TX. Yeah. I, I left the power too too high for CW. It's it's good to remember to decrease the power. So now I'm gonna use my memory uh, to transmit uh, uh, CQ. <coughs> uh, in this case, when you click the memory, you don't need to press the TX. It will transmit uh, automatically, as you can see. Uh, the Vox hang I, I put at the maximum at 500, okay? Because otherwise it will keep, it will be like that. Yeah, it will it will cut the transmission. So I left a uh, Vox hang on 500.
people, it seems someone is, is, is here calling CQ or something. Let's see who is that. So nobody answered. It's a Tuesday morning, so <laughs> I don't think there are too much traffic. So let's see if uh, he answers us. I, I come back to the reception mode, so I can already start uh, typing. Okay, now I'll start TX. But I can keep uh, typing. It's not so fun like using the a, a real CW keyer, but uh, it's a way uh, to do CW using Pluto while uh, maybe the C SDR console uh, software author uh, implements uh, some kind of keyer. Uh, that, uh, that's a wish. Uh, so maybe he could implement a CW keyer on SDR console and you can make like a CW using your mouse as a keyer. Like, uh, you know, the mouse... Uh, will transmit uh, uh, dots and dots uh, with the mouse buttons. buttons. So <laughs> that's going to be a very fun. <coughs> And uh, if you use uh, these settings that I uh, just recommended, uh, turning off all the equalizers on the processor, your, your signal, your CW signal is going to be very clear um, and, and nothing is going to be distorted. He's reporting uh, weather. 
Dobro je. He's using the Nikon IC 706. A converter. Alex. Seventy five uh, centimeters uh, dish. Okay, I, I need to start uh, typing <laughs> to answer to him. Okay. As you can see, this is the CW tone here is, is, is quite clear, no problem. I'm gonna compare with uh, his uh, uh, with the Icon 706. Yep, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the the video. I'll try to to do to to put some uh, links uh, where to download FLDG and maybe some. Uh, Virtual audio, audio cables uh, software uh, uh, down in the below to this video. 73 from Ed Papa Yankee to Romeo November. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Ciao.